open. Out. Breathe in. Out. Breathe in. And out. It all began with a breath in and out. Genesis 2 7 says, Then the Lord formed the man from the dust of the ground. He breathed the breath of life into the man's nostrils, and the man became a living person. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. And as we continue to breathe, I want us to think on what we take in. Breathe in the grace of God. Breathe out your fears and anxiety. Breathe in the word of God. Breathe out your anxieties and fears. Breathe in the promises of God. Breathe out your fears and anxiety. Breathe in the word of God. Breathe out your negative thoughts and self-doubt. Breathe in the peace of God. Breathe out your worries and your cares. Psalm 1 says, Blessed, happy, fortunate, prosperous, and enviable is the man who walks and lives not in the counsel of the ungodly, following their advice, their plans, and their purposes, nor stands submissive and inactive in the path where sinners walk, nor sits down to relax and rest where the scornful and the mockers gather. But his delight and desire are in the law of the Lord, and on his law, the precepts, the instructions, the teachings of God, he habitually meditates, ponders, and studies by day and by night. And he shall be like a tree, firmly planted and tended by the streams of water, ready to bring forth its fruit in its season. Its leaf also shall not fade or wither, and everything he does shall prosper and come to maturity. As we breathe, we focus in on the Word of God. On the authority of God's Word, we meditate. We fill our hearts and our minds with the Word of God. We calm our fears, soothe our souls, fill our hearts with peace, and receive the strength that is in the Word of God as we breathe. Thus saith the Lord in Psalm, Psalm 27 verse 1, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Mm -hmm. 
Isaiah 41 13 to 14 for I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you do not fear I will help you do not be afraid for I myself will help you declares the Lord your Redeemer the Holy One of Israel Psalm 46 1 God is our refuge and strength an ever-present help in times of trouble Psalm 34 7 the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and he delivers them Isaiah 41 10 so do not fear for I am with you do not be dismayed for I am your God I will strengthen you and help you and will uphold you with my righteous right hand Psalm 56 verse 3 when I am afraid I put my trust in you Philippians 4 verse 6 and 7 do not be anxious about anything but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your request to God and the peace of God which transcends or passes all understanding will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. John 14 27 Peace is what I leave with you. It is my own peace that I give you. I do not give it as the world does. Do not be worried and upset. Do not be afraid. Second Timothy one verse seven For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Isaiah forty one three But now this is what the Lord says Fear not, for I have redeemed you, I have summoned you by name, you are mine. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Joshua 1 verse 9 Have I not commanded you, says God, be strong and courageous. 
Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Matthew 6, 34 Therefore, says God, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Isaiah 35:4 Tell everyone who is discouraged, be strong and don't be afraid. God is coming to your rescue. Deuteronomy 3:22 Do not be afraid of them. The Lord your God himself will fight for you. Psalm 90 Psalm 91 Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fallen snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. Thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, The Lord is my refuge, and you make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come nigh your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you do not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Psalm 20 verse 6 Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Psalm 27 The Lord is my light and my salvation. 
whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Though an army encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should arise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For he will hide me in his shelter in the day of trouble. He will conceal me under the cover of his tent. He will lift me high upon a rock. Psalm 46 God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in time of trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth gives way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains shake with their quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice. The earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see what the Lord has done. The desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars to cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shield with fire. He says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Psalm 56, 3. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. Psalm 62, verse 1 and 2. Truly, my soul finds rest in God. My salvation comes from Him. Truly, He is my rock and my salvation. God is my fortress. I will never be shaken. Psalm 116, 7 to 9. Return to your rest, my soul, for the Lord has been good to you. For you, Lord, have, have delivered me from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from stumbling, that I may walk before the Lord in the land of the living. Psalm 124, 8 Our help is in the name of the Lord 
the maker of heaven and earth. Psalm 125, 1 and 2 They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion that cannot be moved but endure or abide forever. And as the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people, both now and forevermore. in the strength of God and breathe out. Breathe in the grace of God and breathe out. Breathe in the peace of God and breathe out. Breathe in the love of God in and increase the level of faith and breathe out. Breathe in the covering of God and breathe out. There is nothing to fear for the Lord our God is our refuge and our strength. The Lord our God is a very present help in the time of trouble. The Lord our God is a mighty defender. The Lord our God is our rock and our hiding place. The Lord our God is our covering. Breathe in the peace of God the grace of God, breathe in the grace and the peace and the love of God and let that saturate your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus.